Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to be working on a unibody MacBook. If you have a MacBook from 2008 to 2012, this will work for you. Today, I'm going to upgrade the memory, the hard drive, and the battery. This upgrade should only take 15, 20 minutes maximum. So if you have a slow MacBook and it's older, we can go ahead and upgrade it. It shouldn't be that complicated and anybody can do it at home. Um, if your computer is running slow, this will work for you. Either one of these upgrades will be perfect and get your computer up and running like new. All right, guys, let's jump into the video and let's do it. As always, don't be intimidated by the amount of screws. I'll leave a link in the description for all the tools that we're going to need for this job. All right, guys, let's jump at it. The first thing we're going to need to do is remove the 10 Phillips screws holding the back cover on. To keep track of all my screws guys, I use a magnetic pad. It has a dry erase pen that works well whenever you need to take notes and keep track of all the screws that you're using on a disassembly job. One of the things to note is that we have three longer screws on the back here. Take note of these screws when you're putting them back in. Okay. Once we've removed all the screws, we can go ahead and pry up the back plate and we go ahead and set it aside. All right, now that we have the MacBook open, it's pretty easy to access. We have our batteries located here, our memory is located here, and our hard drive is located here. One of the first things we want to do whenever we open up a computer is we want to disconnect the battery. The connection is right here and we'll go ahead and just pry that up with our pry tool. Now we know that our battery is disconnected. Um, we can go ahead and remove the battery. We can just pry it up using this tab and the battery comes right out. Next, we want to go ahead and remove our memory modules. They're located here. There's two tabs that we just pry apart and the module will flip up and then we can just pull them out. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit, but just take your time and it will come out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hard drive. It's held in place by this bracket with two Phillips screws here. We can go ahead and remove those screws. You don't have to take the screws all the way out. You can just remove the bracket. Now that we have our bracket set aside, we can go ahead and tilt the hard drive up. There's a ribbon cable here that's plugged into the hard drive. So be careful when you're taking it out so you don't break this. Here it is. Now we can disconnect the hard drive. The hard drive has four um, studs on either side. They fit into these grooves right here. So what we'll do is we're gonna remove these and put them on the new hard drive. Here's our new hard drive, guys. It's a Samsung 500 gigabyte um, solid state hard drive. And you can see it has the holes here that we're going to transfer the studs from the old hard drive. Okay, now we can go ahead and plug the cable back into the hard drive. and seat the hard drive back. And that's it, our hard drive installation is complete. Now we just put the bracket back on. Next, we can go ahead and upgrade the memory. The memory that I'm gonna be using is made by ATEC. It's a 16 gigabyte package, so that's the maximum that these laptops will be able to recognize. So um, I'm going to upgrade it to the max and let's go ahead. Okay, we can take the first module. You got to put it in at an angle. 
slide it in. And once it's, once it's all the way seated, you just press down on it and it will click into place. We take the other module and slide him in at an angle. You hear it click in and then, and that's it. And that's how easy it is to upgrade the memory. All right, the last step is to replace the battery. You just slide it under these tabs and the battery should fall into place. You can now replace the screws here and here. Now that everything is installed, we can go ahead and connect the battery connector. Now that we're done installing the hard drive and the memory and the battery, we can go ahead and put the back cover back on. We want to make sure everything sits flush before we start putting the screws in. Just make sure that there's nothing underneath any debris. Alright guys, now we've completed the installation. Um, so if you guys want to upgrade your hard drive, your memory or your battery in a 2008 to 2011 or 2012 MacBook Pro or MacBook, this is the video. We just did it. It's pretty easy. Shouldn't take you more than 10-15 minutes. Alright guys, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.